Elon Musk is a man whose vision extends far beyond known space. Even though it's only been a few years since the establishment of SpaceX, his space transportation and aerospace manufacturing company, Musk has already been working with NASA, ferrying astronauts to and from the International Space Station aboard the company's Dragon spacecraft. However, that wasn't Musk's end goal. In fact, he's not even shooting for the moon. Musk has his heart set on Mars, and what began as a far-fetched idea may in the very near future become a reality once the company's latest spacecraft, Starship, is ready. Before we start, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe to Tech Division, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Now, let's get into it. Starship will revolutionize space travel. While Musk has been busy with his latest electric vehicle offerings that will start production from his gigafactories, his pet project is Starship, which will be a game changer for space travel. Starship is a fully reusable transport system that will have the capacity to carry about 100 people to Mars. Starship is a two-stage rocket and spaceship transportation system that includes a heavy-duty lift launch vehicle composed of a booster rocket called Super Heavy and a space vehicle called Starship. What makes this system so special? Until now, NASA has been spending billions of dollars sending astronauts on moon and space missions, but each time they go, astronauts travel in vehicles that are destroyed on re-entry or cannot be used again. This is both expensive and bad for the environment. The Starship system, however, the launch system can be recovered and the spacecraft too can all be reused which translates to billions of dollars saved, not to mention it's good for sustainability too. The Super Heavy Launch Vehicle the Starship will sit atop the launch vehicle Super Heavy, and together they will stand 394 feet tall. Super Heavy will be a unique stainless steel rocket that will look like something straight out of a sci-fi movie or a comic. Its rear will feature six super-powered fuel-efficient Raptor engines that will be fed with CH4, more commonly known as methane, and liquid oxygen from propellant tanks in the middle of the engine. Methane is the fuel, while oxygen will act as the oxidizer for combustion. Many feel methane is an unusual choice of fuel, but Elon Musk says CH4 could also be synthesized from the Martian surface and from atmospheric carbon dioxide CO2, using a chemical process known as the Sabatia reaction. That would provide the Starship with a cost-effective and feasible source of fuel for the return journey back home. Inside Starship Starship is being configured to sustain 100 people, including crew members, for the seven-month journey to Mars, which means it has to be extremely efficient. There's plenty of room inside for everyone. The interior will have different levels for passengers, a separate deck for the crew, an area for various activities, and a storage area for supplies and belongings. The top level for crew and researchers. Moving up to the highest level of Starship, you enter the deck and viewing gallery, which will give you some knockout views of space and the Earth as you move deeper into space. There are 20 seats on the upper level for the crew and researchers. The seating arrangements have been designed along the lines of SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft. The seats are foldable and can transform the room into a great place to take in the vastness of space. The wall paneling inside the top level can slide open to reveal giant windows, making the entire area into one panoramic real-time screen of space. Those who are rich and lucky enough to be chosen for the maiden voyage are definitely going to get their money's worth. The expected cost of a Starship mission to ferry only six crew members is approximately $6 billion, with each launch costing approximately $2 million. While $500,000 is the expected price of a seat aboard Starship, Elon Musk plans to get that down to $200,000 in the future. The Activity Area the next level in Starship is the activity area, which can be accessed by a hatch in the floor. This is the place where passengers can unwind with a zero-gravity game of hoops or a good book. The windows here are made from solid steel and also serve as another viewing area. You could probably sit down with a floating cup of coffee while staring at the Earth. You could even listen to someone play the violin or guitar while floating in the zero-G environment. Here too, the seats are foldable and even have straps to keep you firmly in place in case you don't feel like floating around. The first class cabin. The third level, as we descend, opens up into the first class sleeping cabins. They are all stacked in groups of four, and there are five groups total to accommodate 20 people. The cabins are designed like a sleeping pod in a Japanese capsule hotel, although it's much more expensive. They should call the first class cabin the millionaire's cabin because staying there costs $1 million. Each room will have its own little window, though, which means you literally get the feeling of sleeping surrounded by millions of stars and that feeling is priceless. 
The mess. The next level is the eating area or the mess. You can't walk around with plates because you'll find they're all attached to the tables by magnets so your food doesn't float away. You'll probably be getting canned meals like tuna that have been processed by heat to destroy bacteria. The Starship will also serve dried fruit and when you get to Mars, you might just be able to enjoy yummy artificial eggs and even algae. Clearly, this is not for those who are expecting steak. The Mars service is not friendly for growing the types of plants we have on Earth, which means you may have to adapt to new tastes and focus on nourishment rather than flavor when on the red planet. Sanitation The level below the mess is the sanitation area, which includes the bathroom, showers, and a gym with exercise equipment. You can work out on an elliptical bike attached to a wall. The showers will also feature restraints for your ankles to prevent you from floating off while having a shower. Don't expect drains in the bathroom. You will have to suction up the suds and water into a collection bin as the wastewater could damage equipment on board. Lower passenger level and storage the next level is another passenger one with circular seating for 20. This is the area where many will sit or sleep during the journey. While it might seem a bit cramped, like the third class area of the Titanic, it's actually rather comfortable and sophisticated. There are even dividers between seats for privacy. The lowest level on the Starship is the suitcase area where baggage will be stored, but don't even think about packing a large suitcase as this isn't quite like a vacation to the Bahamas. On Mars, you're always going to be wearing a pressurized space suit, so you really won't need much in terms of clothing or accessories. The storage area will have a large door that opens up to allow the Mars rover vehicles to wheel down onto the planet. The cargo area also carries 100 tons of supplies that will sustain the people aboard for seven long months plus the time spent on Mars. So that's it. Do you think you have what it takes to travel within such a spaceship or live briefly on Mars? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit that notification bell and subscribe to Tech Division.